an odd number. It can be 11, 13 or 15. It depends on how big the heads are and how easy it is to make a nice finished article. Mm -hmm. But always an odd number. Mm -hmm. I tend to use maybe 13 mm -hmm. or 15. But you can use much less if you want. It just needs to be odd. Mm -hmm. Then for each one where they've got a bit lower down here, you take all those off. Mm -hmm. So you're left with nice heads at the top. Okay. So then you should take all those off, so you peel that off, You've got a nice head, that one's got a few right ones down there, whoops, that one can come off there, those odd ones can come off down there, clean all the things off the stalks, so basically you're left with lots with nice little heads or heads, clean heads at the top, clean stalks. Once you've done all of that, you take your stalks and arrange them so more or less at the bottom of the heads are together in a thing. You take your ribbon and you fold it over and tie a loop in the top of the ribbon, which you're going to, you can use mm -hmm. then to hang them up later mm -hmm. once you're finished. You then tie your ribbon around the stalks at the top, nice and tight, it needs to be too tight, and at this point you can then pull each individual one down, so then you get all the nice, all the heads, see this one up here, mm -hmm. we can find that one, you can get, uh, get them all, that's that one, that's that one, that one. Mm -hmm. So then you get a nice bunch. I'm pulling that up so I can see which stalk it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you get a nice bunch of usually easier probably if you get know what length you'll need and then chop a length off so you don't have to. Right. And this is the hardest part, because what you do is you've got that nice and tight, and you have to start weaving. So you turn it upside down basically, mm -hmm. and you try and get your stalks as evenly as possible around, and then you pull one down, and one up towards you, like that. Then you take your ribbon over that one, then you take next stalk along. The hardest bit is the starting off bit because there's lots of stalks. And you get under that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And having done that you take your next stalk and you go over that one. The ribbon's gone over that stalk, mm -hmm. and you pulled another stalk down where it's under. Right. Or another stalk down. Now. You get your next stalk, mm -hmm. and you just push it over mm -hmm. the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you get your next stalk, and that is going to go this one here, say. Mm -hmm. It's going to go under the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Ribbon's on top, then your next one. Stalk is going to go over the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Put your ribbon out of the way. The next one goes underneath the ribbon. The next one goes over the ribbon. This is why it's fiddly because you're trying to keep them all in the same place mm -hmm. as you do this. Mm -hmm. Next one is going to go under the ribbon. Next one, going go over the ribbon. Next one, going go under the ribbon. Next one, it's going to go over the ribbon. Next one, it's going to go under the ribbon. 
the next one is going to go over the ribbon and the last one is going to go under the ribbon okay mm -hmm. then that's my last one here mm -hmm. which has gone under the ribbon and that's the end of my odd ones right yeah so the next thing we're just going to weave this around so that was my very first one mm -hmm. where it's over the ribbon oh, that's uh, um the ribbon's over that mm -hmm. one so when we come back around we're now going to lift that stalk and put it under and go under it'd get, be better if you cut your ribbon wouldn't it i suppose it's better if you cut your ribbon we'll cut it anyway. if you know what length yeah, you okay. need but otherwise you don't, might not know what length you need okay okay and then You're lifting each one up each time. So I went under that one now. So I'm going over that one which previously I went mm. under. The next one, I'm going under. That I previously went over. Mm -hmm. The next one, I'm going over that I previously... And then you can... once That's the hardest bit of starting mm. off. Because some of these stalks move. And what you'll do is you might find yourself with, you think, oh, I'm going over two stalks, and that's because one of them's moved the other side. So you just yeah. need to be careful. Right. Okay. And then you, because each one, well, you know it should go over, mm -hmm. under, mm -hmm. okay, over. Mm -hmm. That one's a bit buried, so it's a bit difficult to see this one, but you know it needs to go under something. So you'll find that stalk that's buried itself and go under it. Mm -hmm. Go over the next one. Under the next one. You'll see the little weavy pattern start. You're only on row two at the moment. And you want to go over that one. These are getting tangled around because they're quite close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're happy then with all your positioning. of your stalks because mm -hmm. what happened was I started quite wide mm -hmm. so when I came to the end I had quite a few stalks left and they were quite close so because it's not too tight at the moment I've been able to get those stalks a bit more equally spread around before and then give it a little tighten and because they're now a bit more evenly spread it's easier to then carry on your weaving seeing which is over get the ribbon again if a bit too close just move them slightly see where you're going just pull them straight And it gets easier as you get further out because it gets wider because you're squishing all the heads in. So mm. they naturally get a little bit wider away from each other so they're easier to see where you're at. If you do pull it too tight they tend to bury themselves inside so you just, just care if you don't miss them. You know if you do because you'll say oh I'm going over two rather than over and under. Well, uh
Okay, and then basically you just continue this weaving. Weaving. with a little bit of patience won't become a millionaire making these no no it'll be quite rough with the stalks and bend them out of the way mm. so it won't break off but it's quite fresh wouldn't it be easier if the lavender wasn't quite so bloomy uh yeah, it is because it's a little, little more conical. So if it's like that, it's, you've got all these little flowers that pump. If it's nice and tight, it's easier because you haven't got these little flowers that start poking out. Mm -hmm. And also, it's got more oil in it before it's bloomed. So the best time to do it is just before the flower opens to get as much that thing and have as much oil in there as possible because once yeah. the flower opens it starts to evaporate because that's how you smell it. I can smell it. As soon as the flower opens it starts losing its oil. Yeah. So it won't last as long? No. You still have plenty in there probably if it's nice and fresh. Yeah. But they say that the longest one is if you catch it just before then so you contain all the oil in there. Now, when you get down towards the bottom, mm -hmm. it again becomes quite tricky mm -hmm. because all these stalks start coming together, together. very, very mm -hmm. closely. So what you do is you go as far as you can The further you can go the better it is because obviously it seals in more of the flowers and therefore make sure I'll get more of the oil still contained in there but it does get a little bit um, So these were a bit shorter as well, mm. they'd be a little bit e little easier to manage. Get under there. Should I cut the stalks first to make them a bit shorter? Just you, can, you can do, yeah, if you know roughly where you want them, you could just chop them to, you know, half length. Now if you don't, what you don't want to do is cut them too short, so when, they, when you fold them back on themselves, mm. they're too high. So you need to make sure you've got the length you're going to want finished plus the length of the flower head. So we need to go under that one in there, under that one, under that one. Right. Under that one. 
Okay. Just a couple more. That one's getting quite. So when you get to the end, you yeah. will have really have worked out how much ribbon you need. So you'll be working with a chopped ribbon. So once you got to the end of, can't fill up with trying to get it weave it through the bottom. You wrap it around a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Tie a nice. If you if you're good at tying bows or stuff out of single ribbon, you could do that because that's that'd be pretty. That'd be a pretty ending. But I'll just do some yeah. godforsaken little. Uh, little knot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that. Done. Let's do a second knot just to make sure. Mm -hmm. You've got that. So whatever length you want, either at an angle yeah. or straight across. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, good. Chop, chop. Mm. And then you have, and then you, if you, you can. You can And in that one you can hang up mm. in your um, clothes. clothes. 